where, the ne where next year's Madaraka Day will be hosted. So fellow Kenyans, we gather here to celebrate 68 years of history and heroism as a country. We are well aware, indeed, as the former Prime Minister mentioned, that the Abagusi community is also not short of heroes. In their senior ranks, there are those that have been mentioned by the Prime Minister. But you will also encounter senior chiefs, Angwenji Geshana, Osongo Agwenji, Oga Agwenji, Zakaria Agwenji, Musa Nyandusi, and many others. The makers of the Kenyan nation at independence also tapped into the abilities of your sons and daughters, heralding the birth of a strong and vibrant nation whose story cannot be complete without the mention of Lawrence Sagini, James Nyamwea, Zachary Onyonka, amongst others. And thereafter, following in the, following in the steps of the independence of Agusi heroes, many others heeded the call to serve the public arena, with some rising to high echelons of public service as high-standing cabinet ministers, formidable legislators, influential judicial figures, amongst them being George Museti Anyona, Simeon Yachai, Justice Nyarangi, just to mention but a few. So ladies and gentlemen, on this day in 1952, a state of emergency was declared in Kenya by the British. They arrested over 200 of our leaders, including the Kapenguria Six, and indeed started one of the darkest chapters in the history of our nation. The atrocities visited upon thousands of our people during the emergency period can never be described by any account of history. Even the secret histories of the hanged in detention camps cannot capture the pain of what was later called the dirty war between the British and our liberation heroes. Fathers were taken away from their families never to return, while those who did limped back home, some having been castrated and permanently robbed of the joy of ever being a parent. Mothers were maimed by marauding soldiers never to recover, and innocent children were forcefully conscripted into a war and turned against their own. The darkness of this dirty war and its imprint on the psyche of our nation will remain alive in our memories forever. However, the founding father of our nation, Mze Jomo Kenyatta, advised us for our country that for our country to heal and move forward, we must forgive, but we can never forget. This advice to forgive and not to forget was not a call to begrudge the perpetrators of the darkest part of our history. It was a call to remind our children about our past every Mashuja day, and to do it recognizing that liberation is a process. The more we ponder our history in its truest form, the more liberated we become. But those who whitewash and dodge their history become victims of its ugly parts. Fellow Kenyans, this day, the 20th of October, 
was set aside by our forefathers because there is no country without a history. And there is no history without heroes. The day was also set aside to remind us that history is not just about the past. Our history is also a torch that blazes a trail into the future as well. And that is why in 